a competitive athlete with major league dreams? Or are you a sports or exercise enthusiast with a focus on optimizing your health and fitness? Either way, do you include healthy sleep practices as a strategy to reaching your peak performance? If you're confused by that question, you're not alone. Many of us tend to focus on the intensity of our workouts or our nutritional intake as the tools to take our performance to the next level. But if your training regimen doesn't include optimizing your sleep, it can be keeping you from making those gains you are working so hard to achieve. In fact, poor sleep is associated with slower reaction times, impaired judgment and accuracy, as well as increased risk for injury. In other words, you are more likely to get tackled, strike out looking, or trip over the hurdles. If that isn't bad enough, poor sleep also negatively impacts your body's hormone system, making your body feel more stressed, leading to increased cortisol production, abnormal leptin and ghrelin levels, and even a reduction in your body's ability to use insulin effectively. This results in increased blood sugar levels, choosing less nutritious foods, and difficulty losing weight. Don't take my word for it. Check out these notable athletes that prioritize sleep. These athletes cite sleep as being critical to recovery, allowing their bodies to take full advantage of the training they complete, as well as their foundational starts to their best days. It's important to note that each of these athletes have different approaches to achieving their best sleep. Their focus includes duration, sleep environment, wind down strategies, and sleep tracking. This reinforces the idea that age appropriate duration, quality, and timing of sleep are all critical. But where's the evidence? A study conducted at Stanford University evaluated the impact of sleep duration on athletic performance. College basketball players were instructed to maintain their typical sleep duration for two to four weeks. Athletes got between six and nine hours of sleep per night during this baseline period. They then were instructed to get as much sleep as possible over the next five to seven weeks and to get no less than 10 hours of sleep per night. What did they find? When the athletes had more opportunity for sleep, it resulted in faster sprint times, improved shooting accuracy, and objectively quicker reaction times. Free throw percentages increased by an average of 9%, and their three-pointer percentages increased by 9.2%. Not a bad winning strategy. The timing of sleep or circadian pattern also impacts athletic performance. A study evaluating the outcomes of NFL football games looked at the performance of teams based on what coast they were from, east versus west, and where the game was played. They even considered all the factors that might impact expected outcomes, like historically better teams, home field advantage, team injury reports, and so on. So at first glance, one could say no difference because performance was similar in afternoon games, such as a 1 p.m. versus a 4 p.m. game. However, evening games were a whole other story. East Coast teams consistently performed poorly on the West Coast and did not beat the point spread. But why? When East Coast athletes play a night game on the West Coast, the game was wrapping up around 2 a.m. based on their body clock. Many athletes may lose sleep prior to competition for various reasons, including noise, light, anxiety, and nervousness. For student athletes, there's the added struggle of schoolwork and the sports balance. Who has time for sleep? Purposeful prioritization of your sleep and ensuring a consistent schedule with the opportunity to get the right sleep can not only result in positive performance in your athletic performance, but because of improved reaction time and judgment, may also reduce your likelihood of injury. Do you wanna get at the top of your game during the day, consider what you are eating and drinking. Maintaining optimal hydration to prevent cramping or discomfort that can fragment sleep. Strategic caffeine use can provide an added boost for reaction time when needed, 
but be mindful of the potential of disrupting your sleep if taken too late in the day. Pay attention to the foods you are eating, as sleep disturbances make us more likely to overindulge and choose less healthy foods. High fat, high carbohydrate foods can make us feel sleepy and contribute to disturbed nocturnal sleep if eaten too close to bedtime. Alcohol does no favors to athletic performance and decreases reaction time, even at low levels. A consistent sleep schedule and relaxing bedtime routine is always a winning step to take. Additional steps to take and optimize performance in sleep include become aware of how stressors associated with performance or self-criticism impact your sleep. Are you laying in bed, tired but wired with worries or performance anxiety keeping you from counting sheep? <laughs> Sound familiar? Well, even before thinking about bedtime or sleep, consider identifying an earlier time in the day to write down or journal about these stressors or goals so you can respond to them then without interference with your sleep. Right before bed and even once in bed, consider mindfulness activities or meditation to improve relaxation and stress control. Some research suggests meditation may even have the added benefit of helping reaction time even on those nights where you may be getting that less than optimal sleep. Hopefully these tips will have you sleeping like a prop.